Get back here this instant, you little ingrate. Hey, you, down there. Look up here if you can hear me. How'd you get up there? And why did you get up there? So embarrassing, I'm stuck up in this tree. Can you help me out somehow? I could. Doesn't mean I want to. Come on now, try harder. Oh, phew, I'm saved. I feel like one big ache. Thanks for getting me out of that tree. I'll be okay now. Okay, those little ones. <sighs> Chasing those naughty little Yoshi boys and I fell into their trap. Don't they know anything how dangerous it is to go out in the jungle? I have to find them before they get into trouble with Eve. As for you, you better get back to the village too. It's dangerous out here. Why on earth would you come into the jungle anyway? Because I'm fucking Mario. Why else? Well, also... If you're looking for those little rascals as well, then I don't see why don't we just go together. I don't understand the dangers of the jungle, so we have to find them soon. Oh my. I haven't even asked you your name. What is it? Fucking Mario. Mario, huh? Well, I've never heard of you before. You must be from far away or something. Enjoy Lava Lava Island. That's what I usually say to a visitor anyway. But first, could you help me find these boys? Now, the reason I don't like sushi too much, or at least at first, like, I'm... I just don't care much for her. I don't hate her. I just don't give a shit. And it's because, like, the whole incident with the Yoshis, because it's like, oh, well, you're, like, fucking belittling the Yoshis, which is, like, my goddamn favorite character, so it's like, oh, that kind of sucks. What? Okay, fine. Um... And then, you know, she calls them, like, brats and shit. Oh, yeah, um, that's a bulb, bulb, but he won't give us his seed until literally we complete the chapter, so don't even bother talking to him. I don't think he has it on him right now or anything, but that's something you need to make sure you remember to do later. So, it's nice, but useless for the moment being. And there's no further direction over here. But yeah, no, it's the idea that it's like, you sound like a bitch, and then the Yoshis, like, make themselves look like fucking pathetic pieces of shit that can't do anything themselves. I don't know, I just don't like that setup at all. I'll show Sushi off in a battle that doesn't get her hurt by attacking. Power Quake Badge! Alright, so that's a good one. I haven't really found much use for it, but, uh... No, it's not that I haven't found use for it, it's like the fact of, um, Quake Hammer costs 2 VP, I'm pretty sure, and then it's like, no, it's the fact that Power Quake requires more FP to use than regular Quake Hammer. Like, it requires 4 FP to use, and as a result, I just haven't used it much. Got these coins. Hell yeah. There you go. Also, the longer you hold down down C, the further you dive. Uh, um, I guess we can land back here. Also, I don't like these diving pads because... What? Because sometimes they're a bitch to get on and off, and it's annoying. Yay! Ah, I saw that coming. Alright, well, I guess we can show off sushi now. Oh, great, a bunch of them. Um... Now we can use stopwatch, so we can show that off. I thought about using it earlier, but I was like, nah, we'll wait until it's a fight that, you know, is on screen. So, there you go. Now we can just single-handedly go through these. That, I don't know, like, another thing about Sushi is it just, it doesn't feel like her attacks are really worth anything. It's literally a matter of, oh, that's it? That's all you've got? Like, it feels like she's outclassed by the other partners. Like, I'm not gonna say she's totally useless. I'm not. But it's like... It just doesn't feel like... It feels like I could've had a better partner. Really, it does. And... Like, she's useful for this chapter, definitely. But it feels like that's it. After that, you never really find much use for her ever again. 
Or at least I don't, because I'm so busy up Watt's ass that I don't touch her. Like, Watt and Park Harry and then Cooper are like the most useful partners, and then everyone else feels like they fall short. That's another disappointment I have. was like, I got here, and I was like, oh, cool, maybe I'll get a Yoshi for a partner. And instead, I got stuck with her. And it's like, oh, well, that's kind of disappointing. Because, I don't know, it's just, it didn't meet my expectations, or at least what I pre... Um... I don't want to say pre-visualized, but like what I thought was going to happen. It really is just a matter of just falling short of expectations, really, and it's like that's my own fault for that. I'm not going to like hold this into negative regards. It's just one of those like I wish it would have been done a little bit differently. At all. Oh, that was scary. We were playing hide and seek, and there was this weird plant that trapped me here. Sushi, so you're right. The jungle is really dangerous. I'm sorry. I disobeyed you. Thank you for coming to get me. I'm going home now. I mean, on the plus side, after this getting the kids bullshit is done, she significantly stops being a bitch. Or coming off as one. So that doesn't bother me as much afterwards. But I don't know. Alright, I don't want to go up just yet. Hi. I feel kind of bad, like, having to interrupt their dance like that. Another thing in revolving to her is that it feels like her squirt ability is only really useful, um, against fire enemies, and that's about it. Because, you know, it's all super effective against fire enemies, and you're like, oh, that kicks ass, that's great. But outside of that, it's pretty much not that great. I saw that coming. Alright, no, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit paranoid because, like, this was something I was gonna say something about earlier, but I just didn't. Oh! Do that annoying. That was all so pretty. Did I. Huh? Figured as much. Um, what was I trying to say? There's something in particular that I meant to bring up earlier, but I didn't. Oh, well, don't do that. That is hardly dignified. Polite, whatever. Damn, that annoys me. I don't remember now. Yeah, it's pretty... should be, for the most part, obvious. The blue ones are nice. Oh, look, a fright jar. It's a shame I'm not going to use that ever. Um, I guess we'll go this way first. Do I want to go this way? Ah! Ow. Okay, I remember what it was now. Um, because I was paranoid and all that, like, about dying. Oh, for the love of fuck! Oh, the fry jar served its use, and needless to say, it actually counts as a defeat, too. Didn't know that. Um, no, oh, we need to come back this way later. What it is, is, like, I'm paranoid of dying and all that, because I've had bad luck with this game as of recent. Let me just wait till this guy ruins it. You can't even... Thank you. Okay, assuming we can get peace for once, I'd like to discuss what I've been trying to discuss for a few... Watch this be a trap. Okay, guess not. Um, a topic of discussion among my friends at some point in time was the idea that, like, you know, LPs fail a lot and it's considered entertainment. I don't do that. Not intentionally, so it actually kind of bothers me that I do mess up. Like... On very few instances, actually, if you really pay attention, in games do I really die. Uh, I don't know which way I want to go. I guess we'll go this way. I mean, I know I'm doing this wrong anyway. Like, shit. I should be like the last place I got to. Oh, maybe I'm not. Oh, great. You know what? Hell with it. I'm continuing my story. Fuck this guy. Um, But no, like, it bothers me because I've died so much already during this game. And I've had bad luck with some other things, so, like, it bothers me that that's the case. Because it's not intentional. I don't try and fuck up. Like, that's not funny to me. It's And faking rage is pretty fucking stupid, too. So I'm not a fan of that. I don't want to play worse for entertainment, because that's a pretty petty way to entertain. Um, but yeah, no, it bothers me, because I've had such difficulty with this game, and I don't even understand why. 
like, if I had a counter for all the times I've died, it'd be close to the double digits by now. Okay, good, there's another one, that's two. Morning! Hey, it's Mario, what's the matter with you? You were looking for me? We were playing hide and seek when I got sleepy, I figured I'd take a nap here. There's nothing to worry about, the jungle's not so bad. I'm starting to get a little bit lonely though, so maybe I should head back home by now. I don't remember how many there are total, I know he did pass one. I love that, I don't even get tired of it ever. Uh, I wanna hit this. I wanted to hit this, thank you. Cause this is like the last area we should be heading to. Cause this drives us right back to the beginning. <sighs> but um... Let's see, yeah. No, I don't like playing bad, it annoys me actually. So, yeah, it bothers me how much I have been dying, and I am paranoid because it's one of those, like, I haven't saved in a while. And, God forbid, I get a repeat of Shy Guy Toy Box where I have to, like, replay a huge chunk of the game. Actually, I think there's supposed to be a star piece somewhere around here. Oh, that's a coin. Oh, hi, how's it going? Don't mind me. Or you can attack me, I suppose. That's cool, too. Um, a Volt Shroom's not gonna do shit for me, so I'm just gonna power bounce one of these in hopes of it killing it. If I get enough bounces off of it, at least. Power bounce, whatever the hell. I'm so tired of getting those names confused. I hope to God it's not that, like, out of the realm of understanding as to why I get it confused, for that matter, at least. Okay, good, that should be enough. These guys can poison you as well. Like, just about everything in the struggle can. But, you know, that's why feeling fine is such a good badge. Because it takes away that ability, and you're pretty much like the bomb. Hooray, that was it. I wasn't so bad. And thanks to the whole curse, I'm leveling up a little bit quicker. Hi. I only know where one other is. I don't remember if there's four or five. I think, honestly, there's five. Are they all gone? I'm sorry for disobeying you and going into the jungle. I'll be a good boy now. Oh, listen, I swear. Thanks for saving me. I'm going straight home now. I mean, I suppose you could argue, in the backwards perspective, they deserved it for being disobedient little cunts, but I don't know. I mean, especially since they're babies. But I just always thought of him like more of a badass than that, you know. So it's kind of just imagine other M with Yoshi's. That's a way of describing it. Even though Yoshi was never a superhero or any shit like that. Go. I don't know. I just don't like seeing one of my favorite characters be put to shame. Yoshi's as babies have always been good at defending themselves, so... Yeah, I also don't like that fat village chief Yoshi, because he's fat, and... Yeah. You can go away. We are playing hide and seek, I had to be itched, but I couldn't find anyone at all. I was wandering around and I got lost. You were right, sushi jump was really scary. Yes, are they, like, all gonna say the same shit? I mean, I know it's different dialogue. Oh, hi. Alright, so, I have good and bad news. Oh, it's right there. Okay, good. Because I was going to say, the bad news is I don't remember what the hell the colors of the Yoshis are that I've saved, because there's one near a blue Yoshi that I need to get that's underwater. But, yeah, no, we found it. Okay, well, that's the bad news, was that I wasn't sure where that one was, but we got it. The good news is, though, that there's only one other star piece left inside this jungle. And I know where it is. Also, I guess, I don't know what, what kind of news you'd call it, but like, after I get through this part, at least the jungle and shit, and we're ready to enter Mount Lava Lava, I'm just gonna call it quits for the day. I think I've recorded enough. No, leave me alone! I'm ready for my level up, please. I'd gladly take it. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm gonna need Watt for this. Yeah. Oh, uh, Watson, Watkins, Watkins is a college. 
much I need to jump all the way through. Man, this is the last motherfucker here. There was this flower that I spun around and I thought it was way cool, so I didn't get on it. Then I spun around and around and then I was up in the air flying and then I ended up here. That doesn't make sense. I don't know how I got here it's so dark, so scary, and I couldn't find a way out. Thanks for coming to get me out of here. I need to go home. Yeah. I don't remember that jingle at all. Actually, that looks like it can be blown up. Can I switch my partner back, please? I wanna no! Alright, whatever. 